Hey everyone, so I had a couple of people querying about how I went about my polar alignment routine here in um, the southern hemisphere in Australia. And yeah, like me, if you've just sort of kicked off in the last few months, you've probably found out that it's um, not an easy thing to polar align in the southern hemisphere. So pretty much one of the first things I had to get was a guide scope and a guide camera. So Basically, the main point of this was that I could then use the SharpCap software to do my Poland alignment routine. And then I can also use this same scope for tracking. So I've also got a video on my YouTube channel about this setup and how much it costs if you want to have a look at that. It's relatively affordable. It's about $400 Australian. Um, about, what's that, 320 maybe US dollars? Um, so in this video, I'm going to go through a little bit of footage of me actually using sharp cap and some of the prerequisites as well for using it. So let's get into it and have a look. Okay guys, so I don't want this to take too long. So I'm going to just basically go through this sheet that I've put together. So firstly prerequisites, right? So for sharp cap to work, you're going to need a dedicated camera. Now, for me, that's obviously my ZWO120 guide camera. I believe that you can also just use it with your main camera. I've obviously not tried that because I've only got a DSLR, but I believe that will work as well. You need to have a view of the stars at your celestial pole. So basically, um, sharp cap is using plate solving so basically kind of think of it as images that it has stored of the sky and then it's going to match those up in its database to what it's seeing through the camera so you need to be able to have that line of sight of the southern celestial pole i've got a pretty good line of sight i don't know how it works for example if you've got obstructions and um, probably have to just test that yourself um, and you'd also need the paid version of sharp cap so for a one-year license for sharp cap you're looking at 20 australian dollars so it's yeah pretty obviously pretty cheap and pretty affordable um so they're the main prerequisites probably to consider even if you want to if it's sharp caps even going to work for you um in terms of setting things up so basics obviously before you even think about um polar aligning is get your um mount set up first roughly in the direction of south so I just use my compass and um, I'll point that you know try and get my mount basically matched up to south you also want to just look um, at your magnetic declination for your area so for where I am in Victoria outside of Melbourne it's about 10 11 degrees um, so what you want to do is obviously adjust for that on your when you're setting up in the direction. So for me, I have to go basically set it up south and then I sort of move it to about um, 10 degrees to the left in, in, in my case. Um, and you'll have to find out whatever that is for you. That's a good one though to take um, care of because initially I had problems in that I couldn't even get it to plate solve and I was thinking, what's going on here? And basically that's all it was I hadn't taken into account so I was sort of pointing in the wrong direction make sure you balance and level your mount that's always a prerequisite make sure everything is as level as you can get it and then make sure you um, you know balance your scope and your counterweights both your axes and then make sure you've got your latitude axis set for your location so I think for me it's like 38 or something like that um, so yeah, the next thing to look at would be to just going through the process um, with SharpCap. So obviously you want to start up SharpCap and then you want to be connecting your camera. Your, um, I believe that your, let me think, I'm pretty sure yes, your mount obviously has to be connected as well. So everything, so you want your guide camera or your main camera connected and you want your, you know, um, 
EQ mod connected to your mount so everything's talking to each other. Um, and then what you want to do is select your uh, polar alignment routine. Um, I think it's under tools or one of the options at the top. Um, and that will basically start off the process. So that process will take you through step by step what it wants you to do. And it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, and basically what it's going to do first off is it's going to try and solve the image that it has um, in the view. So basically just with your scope pointing upwards as best you've, um, as best you've corrected it. Um, hopefully you've got it pointed roughly in the right direction and it will be able to play solve. Then it's going to ask you to rotate it um, 90 degrees. Um, then it's going to, I think, ask you to click next again. And then after that, it's going to it's going to basically perform its own calculations as to how far your alignment is out. And then it's going to get you to adjust these screws for the two axes. So. It's quite a good sharp cap in this way in that it's just going to tell you um, basically to go left or right and up and down. Um, it's a little bit of a fiddly process but you get used to it and um, by the time you've got used to where to set up your, um, your mount, because um, you'll get the actual approximation of where it needs to sit pretty well after you've done it a few times. And then this little adjustment that you have to do, you'll you'll soon get into a habit, and you want that to be looking um, good to excellent. It's hard to keep it on excellent because you're talking about pretty fine movements with the screws, um, but you can usually get it, you know, sort of good going into excellent. And basically, once that's done, essentially that is your polar alignment routine um, over. And after doing this a few times, I've found that this now takes maybe five to ten minutes, something like that. Um, and yeah, it's a very effective way to just get aligned. And then, of course, if you, depending on what you're using your camera for, you can close that down. And then, in my case, I just use it for PhD two guiding at that point. But that's pretty much um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. So. Hopefully that might help some of you um, in the position that I was where um, polar alignment was one of the confusing things to begin with because I didn't really understand, um, especially in the southern hemisphere, that you can't really use the built-in polar scope on your mount because you can't see those stars, especially if you've got any type of light pollution. So for me, I went with the sharp cap option because I thought well, I can use this for two jobs. First, get polar aligned, and then for tracking. Um, I know there's the Pole Master, but I think that's a f fair bit more expensive, and I'm I'm guessing that you can't then obviously just use that as a guide scope as well. So yeah, I hope that's helped some guys, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.